Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. I have a new installment to my virtual staging deep dive video, which you may or may not have seen. Um, thanks to everyone who's been watching that and leaving some comments. I didn't uh, expect it to have uh, as much success as it had, so thank you for that. And that's why I thought I would bring you this update. Uh, when we were doing that video, it was before the release of this 3.0 Blender version. And with that, we have some new features. Uh, one of those features I'm going to highlight is very important, I think, especially when it comes to virtual staging. That's why I'm specifically pointing it out for you. Uh, what we have is two lights here, and one of them looks a little bit better than the other. Uh, if you can't point it out, it's because this shadow would not really exist like that if we were compositing it on. It ultimately is like a net positive producer of light, and uh, this is you know kind of a net negative impact if you look at it as plus or minus of the ambience of the scene. And so this just simply would not be like that. It would be a lot more like this one. All right, so we are selected on the light source on the right hand side here. Let's go into the object tab, visibility and mask. Let's turn off the shadow catcher mask, which is enabled by default. And just like that, the shadow that should not exist does no longer exist. So exactly what we need for our virtual staging. Uh, keep that one in mind. Next time you are building a scene, it's going to help everything look a lot more cohesive, which will be important and your clients will appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to come back for some new ones. Uh, lots more videos on the way. Thanks.